Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at the definition and formula of the sine law or the law of sines. Please remember that sine law or the law of sines is the relationship between the sides and angles of a non-right triangles, which we call as oblique triangles. This law states that the ratio of the length of a side of a triangle to the sine of the angle opposite or across from that side is the same for all sides and angles in a given triangle. To better understand this, let's look at the picture right here. Looking at this picture here, our angles are labeled A, B, and C in big letters. And the sides are labeled A, B, and C in small letters. Please remember that these letters are variables which means that in some triangles, it doesn't have to be A, B, and C. It can be any letter in the alphabet. But what we remember is the main concept of the sine law or the law of sines, which can be written this way. So if we have here our side A, so I'm going to write side A, so the numerator is uh, the side, small letter A, the denominator of this side A is the sine of the angle across from it. So I'm going to go ahead and write that as sine of angle A. Again, these are variables. It doesn't have to be A and A. It can be any letter in the alphabet. This is actually equal to, we can have the B here. So sine B over the sine of the angle across from it, which is sine of angle B. That is also equal to C, that's side C right there, over the sine of the angle across from it, which is angle C. This is what we call as the law of sine or the sine law. We can also rewrite this equation that we have right here this way. Again, please remember that these letters are variables which means that in some triangles, it doesn't have to be A, B, and C. It can be any letter in the alphabet. Again, this equation that we have right here is called the law of sine or the sine law. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!